Uh, looks like we got both teams in here. Gonna jump into the in-game lobby, and we're, I think we're gonna be ready to go. I'm excited to see these two teams play a face off. So you've picked Valiancy, JT. I've got Cantaloupe Coop. I gotta go against you. Cause we've gotta have some tension here in the casting booth. And here we go, folks. Game one of the night. Three matches coming at you tonight. The first one kicking off right now. Valiancy, Cantaloupe Coop. Five minutes on the clock. Absolutely. And Chad, if you will, let us know your predictions on who you think will win this one. We'd love to hear you. Thoughts of Spooked gets things kicked off here for Cantaloupe Coop. Right off the bat there, 63 miles an hour, takes himself, and, well, <laughs> can't say much more. Seven seconds in, they've already got a lead. Yeah, that's what you like to see if you're a cantaloupe coop here. And I want to see that backflip. Uh, I want to see that backflip if Valiancy wins. That's what I, or if cantaloupe coop wins. Yeah, if Valiancy loses, I want to see that backflip. So I'll hold you to that. Make sure to be posting that on social media and tag an IGL if you actually keep to your word. Uh, Torque TTV dropping it down for his teammate and and Cantaloupe Coop's lead short-lived. Valiancy now in the now tying it up one to one. 20 sec, sec, 26 seconds in, and we're all tied up. Wow, what a play! Incredible indeed, we're tied up one apiece now, so it's like carte blanche, it never happened, but it did happen. So, who's really there to make it special for either team? Clearly, both teams out here to play. It's really about who wants it more at this point here. It's really, because with game one, I view it's more the feeling out process. Who's gonna really get the better upper edge over their opponents there? Who really kind of can adapt to their opponent's play styles faster. Killa now popping this ball up to Boyd, who puts it back over center field and continues the offensive push for Valiancy. Tor pick, uh, picking up full boost. Sniper back to Stinky. It's right in front of net. Pushed away. Stinky trying to keep it in play, and it's lost. There! What a play by uh, by Killa, but it, it's stopped in its tracks by Tork Picking up that full boost, hustling towards center. Sniper just a little bit too slow. Now Boyd on the run. Nice clear to Tork. Tork with a miss. Stinky's going to have a shot at it. Stinky disrupts the offensive push, trying to continue to do so, and there is a battle going on in front of Cantaloupe Coop's net. Who will win here, the defense or the offense? Tail as old as time. Finally, the ball is pushed out by Killa. And you can definitely tell that both teams are really going to be giving their all here in this competition. You look at their records going into this in the regular winner circuit there. One and three versus one and two there. A lot of this writing, I think, on both these teams to succeed here in this Invitational Cup. A lot definitely is riding on it, and actually a real-life physical trophy is riding on it. So hopefully one of these teams hope one of these teams will come out on top, but who knows which one spoofed out to kill Killa has an open shot! Oh, and stopped in its tracks by Sniper! What a defensive play! That was one for the ages. Vex the Potter, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the IDL community. You're joining at the right moment here as these two teams are tied up and the action is real. A big hit out by Sniper. Back towards center. Killa with a good disruption. Torque back towards center. Sniper's going in hot, uh, but it's kicked out by Spook. Stinky with a great redirect. Void lining up a defensive clear. Gets it, but not before Killa can get the demo. I don't know how Sniper made that save back there. It must have been just attached a snowplow on the front of his car to make that save because that would look sure to go in the back of the net here. But here, two minutes coming up remaining in game number one. We have not seen anything past them at early opening salvo from both teams here. Here comes Jarvi trying to create something for his team. Killer will make a save, and it will be an opportunity now for Spooks to go on the counterattack for Cantaloupe Coop. Spooks, popping it back to Sniper. Good hit down the Void. Void clears it over the center, but no dice there. Spooks is gonna have some room to move. Good hit and steal by uh, Sniper there. Sniper once again off the backboard. Cleared out by Stinky, stopped by Void. Torque going in maybe for a shot, but just too far out of the way. And now Spook going back up for it. It's so awesome watching such highly skilled players in Rocket League, because you can see a clear difference between uh, the aerial moves and the control in the air that they have versus some other lower tier divisions. 
that's how you can kind of tell like who's been really playing this game a lot and has gotten really really good is based off some of these really nuanced mechanics and we're seeing that really come out there tonight both teams just looking absolutely amazing um knocked down by torque back to stinky and stinky's gonna pop it out here 50 seconds and change remaining on the clock a shot from void though and that will give a lead late in game number one for valiancy here it was a loose ball from that danger danger will robson and with the mop and bucket cleared out by jarvie void they're able to slam it home thanks to that crucial demo by jarvie 50 seconds on the clock now jt what a play call there 44 seconds left to go sniper pushing it out void Trying to get control of this ball. He's got some defense there. Void is in the lead. And they have the... Oh, no! Sniper, can he get there? What a save! What a shot by Spook. And what a save there by Valiancy. Ball dropping down to Void. Cleared. Spook puts it back. This is an opportunity. And it's in. 24 seconds on the clock. Two Do to two. Do we get a game one overtime? I don't know, but we might. That was absolutely nuts. Seriously want to play actual dessert in the chat saying they're getting pretty good. Vagabond with the yes, yes, I agree. Oh man. That was absolutely insane. Actual dessert. This is Smash and JT displays in the chat. Not sure which one you were referencing. And wow! Valiancy puts another one on target. The punches are being thrown, folks, and it looks like Valiancy gets the one-two in. You'll love to see that. 18 Ooh, seconds that left pass. for Cantaloupe Coop to make their comeback. Look at that pass to give him the lead here. 18 seconds remaining. Killa trying to win this one for his team. Stinky did not read the kickoff here. It's going to be up for Sniper to drop it down. Looks for this flip reset. Deny there on the goal line. But will it be enough time to tie it up for Cantaloupe Cube? A shot come in from Smooch. He gets the demo. A good save from Jarvi. Needed it to secure game number one. If rule zero is observed, though, we could still have... A tie ball game will go in. No! Valiancy, take game one. There it is. Valiancy with the massive game one win. Oh my gosh. That was a, that was a game to be remembered. There were definitely some clip-worthy hits, shots in that one. We got Torque TTV with the MVP. One goal, one assist, a save, and five shots. Spooked with two goals, a save, and four shots. That was close. I... I don't know who to vote for. I mean, I I, uh, I picked Ca uh, Cantaloupe Coop in the prediction. They let me down in game one, but hopefully they won't let me down in, uh, in game two. JT Displays, you're in the lead so far. We'll see if that holds true. To me, it was all about Sniper. Just Sniper with the with those two critical saves there. He should have had probably more on the stat sheet, I feel, but th those two saves were necessary when they happened. If he doesn't make those snaves there, Cantaloupe Coop very well could have taken game number one by a score of five, uh, five to three, potentially. It, yeah, you're right. It definitely was very close. And, uh, oh, man. Sniper did have some amazing plays. Oh, no, we lost the server. All right, yep. JT, uh, if you don't mind, uh, looks like... I'm still, I'm still in the server, so if, if they join back in, it, it might be able to, we might be able to restart this quickly. I just got kicked out, basically. Um, so, can I... I'm, not, I'm gonna try to use the... Uh, secret password? Yeah, try to use the, the secret password. It's please. Oh. I just got pulled back into it, magically. All right. Well, <laughs> here we go. I got pulled back into it, so no worries. Maybe Rocket League's getting a little better at that stuff. Um, did our players get pulled back in? That's the real question. Looks like they're they're hopping in here. Woo! Man, I'm already losing my voice. That was game one and a best of five series, and we got three matches tonight. Hopefully, I can survive. Yeah, I mean, it, it's. I think it's going to be a grind here. We, that's assuming there will be a game number one there. So, or, or a game five, excuse me, because this very well could end up in a sweep there. Um, Valiancy does have game one taken hand, take in hand. Cantaloupe Coop, though, still the heavy favorite by the chat by a score of, you know, 70% there. Um, will that remain here, though? Again, the game number two, it's always a different beast, I find. 
the question is, who can adapt here after uh, what happened in game number one? It looks like all the kitties are in the pool, though, so let's jump on in for game number two and see just what transpires. And you're right, that, uh, that is interesting. Uh -oh. oh, we lose uh -oh. someone? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, we'll just, uh, we'll remake here. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and remake this one. Sorry about the yeah. delay, folks. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if he got kicked or accidentally left or what, but we're gonna go ahead and remake. Um, so just hang tight. Go ahead and switch back to the webcams. Vegabond saying five years later and private matches are still busted. You know, Ryan hey. a great game. Doesn't mean it doesn't have a, a couple bugs here or there, right? It happens to everyone. We, we give you nothing but the most scuffed gameplay, guys. Let me tell you, nothing but the but the scuffedest. The scuffedest of the scuffed, all right? <laughs> Actually, is there, are you making fun of my car? <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and wait for these teams to join back up again. Angel of the Bronx, what is going on? Are they going off script? There's no script. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no script. This is all, this is all real life. Happening live from IGL HQ in Indianapolis, Indiana. Yeah, you would Smash would know. He's the one that actually writes all the scripts. So if there's yeah. no script today, there, there's no script. All right. I, I would know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I write all the scripts. <laughs> all right, they're joining up. We're jumping back in. Sorry for the delay. I think we're good to go this time. I see all six in. All the kitties in the pool. So here we go. Kickoff game number two. Will it be Cantaloupe, Cantaloupe Coop to, re to bring this series back on level pegging? Or will Valiancy get a critical game number two and put themselves on match point? Well, that's a good start from Jarvie. Nine seconds in, they already got a lead. Look at that, look at that. Valiancy 1-0. I think Cantaloupe Coop did this to them the previous game, going up really, really early, and now, uh, Valiancy is doing the opposite. Hopefully the outcome of the match is the opposite, though. Void to Stinky. Stinky accidentally crosses towards center. Doesn't get that second hit. Great defensive play by Spook. To work with a shot! Too high off the crossbar. Stinky and Killa on the run. But Void puts it back. Spook with a great defensive play. Balls over center field to Sniper. A sniper up the wall. Crossing towards center. Sniper wants it, but no. It drops down. Void playing some D now. Back towards center. Stinky may be lining up a shot. It... Too high off the backboard and drops down. Drop down for Killa here. Kill look for Spooks. Gonna go wide, but Killa's there, but it's gonna be Sniper there to make a save. Sniper again coming in clutch for his team on the defensive end of the field here. But here comes the, another attacking presence from Cantaloupe Coop. They're putting a lot of shots on target here, trying to thin back the ears of and really get after the defense of Valiancy here. You see them controlling the ball in the blue half of the field, trying to just squeeze as much out of this offensive attack here and possibly deny some of that boost here. You're looking to see, see that happen. So that Valiancy really has to struggle to get out of the blue half of the field. Sniper trying to line up an offensive opportunity. Torque's in the air, keeping it in play. But who's gonna stop him? Torque in, gets stopped by Stinky. Void does keep the offensive pressure on Cantaloupe Poop. And 1-0, three minutes and 23 on the clock. Spooks now finally getting a push. Still in Valiancy territory. Sniper sees Void. Good touch by Void, pushing it back towards center. Spook regaining control, back towards center. Hits it out, Killa trying to get back around it, and decides to back off and let Stinky take a jab at it. Void. He almost beats Killa, but not quite. Great cross there. Sniper's just a little bit too far forward. And that's where communication comes in hand. The more you can make sure to communicate with your team about where the ball, where you're trying to put the ball and where they should be, the more effective you are going to be. And it, it's easier said than done, right? Communication is probably the most important part of any uh, high-performing team. That and uh, uh, effective rotations. And as we see now, Torque and Sniper doing a pretty good job of rotating back around each other. Killa takes the lead, though, pushing it out into Valiancy territory. Absolutely. Two minutes and 25 seconds. We've crossed over the halfway threshold in game number two. Not officially halftime here in Rock League.
but uh, pretty darn close, you know, because there is enough. That would be a nice thing to see, just like that time in a Rock League match, but you don't get that. Instead, what we do have, though, is me rambling until we hit the two-minute mark with Valiancy again on the attack with a one nothing lead here. Whereas a little bit of a goal fest in game number one. So far, it's been very, very tight. We have only had the single goal early in the match, and so far, it's been the stout defense really denying uh, mostly Cantaloupe, who have been mostly on the attacking side of the ball here in game number two. Tork dropping it down to Killa. Only one hit. What a low scoring game, and what a low scoring series as well. Actually, last time, this game was 3-2, so not bad. This game, though, 1-0. Uh, and really, nothing's happened since that first goal at the 4-minute and 52-minute mark. Ball hits out to Torque. Spooked. Trying to clear this one out. Boyd, back to Sniper. Good cross. Torque is there! Boyd with the play! 2-0. Continuing their dominance here in this game. Now with a, uh, a decently significant lead, not a huge hill to overcome, not not a mountain, but a hill. They got a Cantaloupe Coop has a little bit of work to do to get back in this game. If they don't, uh, Valiancy is going to be up 2-0 in the series, and that's going to be tough. And as I say that, JT displays, they're putting another one on the board, closing the gap. I was going to say that it really seemed that Valiancy was really prioritizing the winter inter winter invitational here, but here comes Cantaloupe Coop saying, hey, hey, remember, we're, we're, we're still in this match too, guys. Don't forget about us, all right? You know, you're talking about Valancy too much. We need to put ourselves back on the board here, and they've done that. Cut the lead in half here. Opportunities now for them. A minute left to go, but that's going to be Sniper! The slam and home 3-1. The lead back out to two, right on the minute mark. Valancy. Pushing Cantaloupe Coop right back to where they were. 3 2 1. Up by two, a minute left. Cantaloupe Coop certainly can still do it, but they've got to get their momentum. Oh no! Ooh, what a save by Sniper. You know Cantaloupe Coop wanted that one, JT. Oh, that was a good shot. Bar down and outski. Ouch, bro. And that is not the bar down you want to see, but nevertheless, the attack, there's just so much attack. I would love to see just how many shots we got from Cantaloupe Coop here in game number two, because they've been peppering the backboard and the, and the sideboards here, but the only thing they can't pepper is the back of the net. They have not been able to break down the defense, save for one time here in game number two. Valiancy have just been stiff as a board, denying everything that comes their way as Killup will try to launch this one late. And we will, as I say, the defense is great on balance. See, we get a little uh, sneaky ball like that. And we got 13 seconds and a one ball, one possession ball game. Three to two with 13 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing play there. Tor out to Spooked. Spooked. Stinky, stinky out. Tor over center. Stopped in its traps by, St uh, by Stinky. Torque wants it, and there it is, folks. Uh, I should, maybe not, and there it is. Valiancy does take the win in game number two. This spells danger for Cantaloupe Coop. Man, going down 2-0 in a best of five series is not a great place to be, but you know what it does set up, JT, is the reverse sweep. Oh, man. What would it, take? What, what would it be like if that happened right now? Man, that that would that would t it, on my channel. What that happens is the chat really has to get involved for a reverse sweep to happen. So that's why I want to say to you, chat, <laughs> if you think that it's going to be a sweep, I need you to type to to type out broom b r o o m in the chat. Let us know is that going to be a broom? Is it going to be a clean sweep there, or will you summon the morb, the reverse sweep, the opposite of a broom m o o r b? Let me know, guys. We want to know, is this going to be a sweep? Is this going to be an early night here for Cantaloupe Coop? Because, again, they had seven shots in game number two f compared to only five shots from Valiancy. But Valiancy, they put home three of those five shots there. The shooting accuracy, much better for Valiancy there. Cantaloupe Coop, again, so many shots. Only two goals, though. Vegabond calling for the reverse broom incoming. 
Actual dessert and Angel of the Bronx calling for the broom as well. We'll see who ends up being right today, folks. Again, only first match, only the first match of the night. And we potentially might have a 3-0 sweep. Or we potentially might have a reverse sweep. Let's see who comes out on top. Here we go. Five minutes on the clock. Killa with maybe an early goal, but Tor gets in the way. What a save by Tor. Oh, no. What? Oh, clip that. Send that into the whoops of the week, folks, because that, that was an own goal. We, I saw it. You saw it. It happened. It did happen. That was an unfortunate own goal. But now Cantaloupe Coop is up 1-0. Vegabond is excited about that. Balls popped up into the air. Cleared out by Tor. Drops down. Sniper wants it. Over to center. Cleared out by Spook. Tor now trying to get in the way. Great job by Tor. Boyd's there, ready for the cross. Back to Tor. Can Tor... Tor backs off. What was he doing? I think he hit I an think... amazing opportunity. I don't know if he thought the defense would just stop him. But that, there's another goal for Cantaloupe Coop. I thought for sure Valency was going to have a, a potential shot there. So I think Tor really was trying to like respect Killa and respect Killa's presence there. However, by backing up at that moment, it did lead to that counterattack opportunity for Cantaloupe Coop. And now they have, are enjoying the biggest lead they've had with a 2-0 lead currently, with four minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock here in game number three. It's gonna be interesting to see here if Valiancy chooses to be a little more aggressive here because that passive play style in that moment really hurt them and cost them a goal. Stinky knocking it down. Spooked. Spooked. Really trying to make something happen. Killa can't quite beat it, and it's in. One to two. Valiancy with the big goal, closing the gap. And once again, they are up 2-0 in this series. If they win, they'll take home a big week three victory over Cantaloupe Coop. But Cantaloupe Coop's up by one, so they still got a, uh, a hill to climb. People are calling, saying that the, the match is scripted. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. But for you to decide, I won't get involved in that discussion. But here we go, JT. Absolutely, and I think that Valiancy, you saw on that last goal, Sniper just, you know, tuning in his scopes, getting it right on the goal line there, trying to find exactly what it's going to take to carry the rest of his team over the line of victory here, because again, he's been all over the map, defensively, offensively, anything that Valiancy needs, Sniper's like, hey guys, don't worry, I've adjusted the stats on my backpack for better ergonomics and to help ease the load off my, my back. I got this. Very important er ergonomics on, on backpacks, you know? It is. Those, those, uh, very those, important those, those, in the Rocket League match, too, you know? You gotta make sure you're, you're primed and ready for the match. Angel of Bronx saying Sniper really sniped that goal. Indeed. Sniper now trying to snipe another goal here. Stinky taking control of Torque. Pops it right back down to Void. Void a little bit out of position. Picks up that full boost. Nice touch. Torx there. Gets the touch. Gonna cross back towards center to Sniper with the shot. Oh, what, a, what save. a save. That was a team. That would have been a team goal right there. Every single player on Valiancy participating. Man, that would have been a just textbook Rocket League play if they'd gotten that in. Stinky stops Sniper in his tracks. Void with the shot. Too far to the right. And now Sniper. Trying to rotate back around. Void gets demo. It's going to clear up an opportunity, and there it is. Torque tying it up for Valiancy. This is not what Cantaloupe Coop wanted. Void, you see, he sacrificed himself to get Sniper off that bump, but Sniper gets the pass over to Jarvie, and Jarvie slams it home. A tie ball game. So essentially, it is going to be 2 to 2 at the 2 to 2 to 2 to 2 to 2 to 2 to 2 minute mark. Sniper drops down to Killa. Killa wants it. It's up. Almost dropping down to Void. Void with a great defensive stop. Now Spooked looking to keep that offensive play alive. But Sniper and Void in position to clear this out. And it is in Cantaloupe Coop territory. Valiancy wanting to take this in three. But Cantaloupe Coop not giving up the good fight yet. Big demo there. Torque to Void. Torque's hustling back to help out Void. Rotating back towards net. Sniper and Torque up front. 2-1. Sniper, stop Spook, about, stop by Spook, Spook take control, JT, this is intense, 2-2 two two with a minute and 40 left. 
Absolutely, a sniper tries to get through it. A good redirect by Sneaky to deny it here, but here comes Sniper. Can't get around Sneaky, but it's a loose ball. Boy tries to get in there, kill it. Has to make the sub, and this one will go in for Jarvi. A minute and a half left to go in game number three, and it's a valiancy lead once again. Wow, valiancy. They were down two goals, and now they're up by one with a minute and 30 left. This is this spells danger for Cantaloupe, Cantaloupe, Coop, as Sticky now trying to get this offensive play started, trying to rally his team. They're only down by one, and they certainly have a chance. Spooks gets a big kill, gets a big demo on a valiancy player. Torque crossing towards center. It's right there for the taking, but no one's there to take it. Now Boyd bumps Sniper into the ball. Killa stops it. Gets it around Boyd. Killa hustling after it. Nice play. Spooked. Controlling it. Sniper getting that. Looking to get that demo. Get across. Sticky's there. Oh, Sticky missed it. I thought Sticky was going to have an amazing shot on goal. But unfortunately, just couldn't do it. Boyd's now got an open net. Stopped in its tracks, but not without the demo. You know, I, I really hope that Stinky, Killa, and Spooked, Spooked, I really hope that they were not feeling married to that trophy, because right now, they can't elope with it. <laughs> and the dad jokes coming out from JT displays, they certainly can't elope with it. Uh, and right now, uh, Valency's trying to steal the marriage here. Sinky clearing it out to the side, spooked to torque. Cantaloupe Coop got to get something going. Ten seconds on the clock. Seven now. Kill. Full boost picked up. Spooks in the air. Sneaky might have it. Oh, he does it with one second left. I cannot believe what I just saw. I thought for sure Valiancy was going to take the win. But Sticky just reading that hit perfectly. How is the chat not going insane right now? One second on the clock. I think we're going to see overtime here. Ball is in the air. Torque, he wants it. Can he get it? And it oh. drops down. There we have it. We are in overtime, folks. What a play. Killa out to Torque. Torque out to Killa. A miss there. Torque back towards center. JT, I'm going to need you to uh, give me a, let me take a breath here. <laughs> let me tell you, Stinky there, really trying to do his best to jump the room, deny the sweep here. That's another marriage joke coming the room. But anyways, Jarvie here, trying to put it out here for Valiancy. This is the second time they've been to overtime looking for Boyd, who's just Spider-Manning on that back wall. And here comes Jarvie again. Can't get around Killer though. Gets a demo on the Stinky. It's an opportunity now for Valiancy in the attacking half here. Spook can't get there. Mop and bucket, not there for Sniper. Stinky makes a save at the last second needed to be there for his team as this is 45 seconds into overtime here in game three will this be a sweep here for valiancy or can Canlo coop keep their thoughts alive sneaky off the post out another save spoke can't get there for jervy jervy there coming up clutch for his team right now a minute in this is insanity right now boyd can't drop it down Spook is there instead, Stinky for Cantaloupe Coop. A minute and 15 in. They're looking for the attack, but it's going to be Boyd. He's going to send it out to midfield here. An opportunity now. Hopefully Smash has caught his breath here because I am left breathless right now. So much action end to end. Boyd, can he do anything with this? Will it be Sniper to end it? Or will it be Stinky to recollect here for Cantaloupe Coop? Wow. Multiple missed goals here for Cantaloupe Coop. Boyd fending off this potential reverse sweep with everything they've got. Sniper popping it up to Spook. Spook's clearing it out. Torque gets in the way. Torque to Spook. Spook drops down to Sniper trying to play some defense. Now Stinky's on the run. He is being aggressive. Spook with the shot. Oh, another save. Canelo Coop, you know they're upset about this. I think that's like three goals, three shots on target that they just have not. Oh no! Oh no, oh. missed shot by Boyd. It was wide open. And there's another shot by Killa with the save. Connie, sorry I haven't said hi to you yet. We are in the midst of an amazing uh, opportunity for Cantaloupe Poop to start the reverse sweep opportunity. Sniper down to Killa. They are putting on some pressure. They've got to keep up the pressure and keep those shots happening. 
two and a half minutes. That is half a game of free Rocket League here for you folks here in this first match of the night. We still got two more matches tonight, folks, all right? Cantaloupe Coop and Valiant. See, that's just the appetizer. We haven't even gotten to the main course just yet, folks. So hold on to your seats. Buckle your belts up because we are in for a night of action. Void makes a save here on that shot by Spooked. Kill it. Sends it in, but Sniper's there for it. Here comes Stinky. Sees an open net, but not as open enough as Jarvi makes a stop here. Jarvi, what can you do in this position? Get it on the side here. Opportunity for Sniper. A bump. Get Sniper. Put the opportunity home. No. Spooked. We'll make the stop here. Three minutes and 15 seconds in to overtime. An opportunity wow. for either of these teams here. Could be coming any moment. It's just end to end, back and forth. Neither of them holding on to the ball for much longer. Here comes Sniper. No. Will it be Jarvie this time to put it in for Valiancy? Off the backboard denied by Stinky. Spooks now continuing this offensive press for, uh, pressure for Cantaloupe Coop. Man, they really need, they need a goal right here so desperately, and they're fighting so heavily for it. Sniper out to the side. Ball cleared out fast to Killa. Killa with a nice touch. Killa's up to Torque. Pops it down to Spook. Spook wants a piece of it. It drops down to Stinky. Stinky wants it. Oh, it's right there for the taking. Killa too low on the ball, and now Sniper is going to start the offensive point for Valiancy. What a, oh man, this is just so unfortunate for Cantaloupe Coop. They're, they're working so hard to get these shots on goal, but nothing is dropping. We're almost five minutes into this overtime matchup. Killa over center. Spook trying to make something happen. Someone has got to score soon. And oh, what a save! Oh my gosh! I thought for sure Valiancy had it, but no, Stinky now popping it to Spook. This is, this is absolutely insane. I can't believe it's gone on this long. The chat has been stunned into silence with so many close calls here as we are approaching 10 seconds more, we will have five minutes. That is a full extra game here in overtime. Chat, will this be it? Will this be game three? Or is there, or will we have game four? That is what Cantaloupe Coop is fighting for. They are just fighting just to get to game four here. If they can win it, they still have a chance in this matchup. It's an opportunity now tonight on Stinky Jarvie there, trying to get past out to midfield. For Sniper, Sniper looking for the pass here. Stinky's not gonna get there. It's gonna be Jeremy with the shot off the post. Oh my gosh. How does that not go in? Three minutes and 30 seconds in. The shot off the, and now it goes in. Bargowski, Jeremy, game, set, match. Holy crap. I can't believe what we just watched. That was, that was unreal. I. <laughs> I wish I had the webcam on, on you, JT, when, man, when you called that. That was absolutely nuts. I don't think I've seen a game like that in a long time. Wow. And yeah, unfortunately for Caleb Coop, they all left, and I, I honestly don't blame them. Like, that was, I'm sure that the hearts are broken after, after that just, like, absurd match. I can't believe what I just saw. Angel LeBron saying, this is Rocket League. RL Scarlet saying, Goats. Oh, wow. Kudos to both teams. Like, that was... Like, Caleb Coop, honestly, did not deserve to be swept in that series. That really should have been, like, uh, at least a, at least a four-game series. Um, you guys really just took it to Valency in that last game. And I felt like that could have gone another way a million times. I could have, that could have ended with Caleb Coop winning, like, ten different times. Valency just had that last shot. There were so many clippable moments in that. I can't even... Oh, God, I don't even know where to start, but absolutely amazing match. That was nuts. Just crazy. Kudos to both teams. Valency, Cantaloupe Coop. Congrats to Valency. Congrats to Torque for the MVP with the hat trick. Cantaloupe Coop, best of luck uh, in your next matchup.